Okay, uh, this was sent into the channel. Um, I've done some reviews on their products before. The company's called uh, Elecro, and they have a crowbot. <laughs> so they have a, a, a robot that's in the shape of a crow, I guess. And um, it's for STEAM education, so I'm all a big supporter of uh, getting kids interested in uh, technology and stuff, ages six and up. I'm not quite sure about six and up, but anyway. Um, and uh, what does it have? It has like a little joystick controller, I think. Um, or maybe that's something you have to, uh, yeah, this is sold separately. So uh, you can buy this controller as a separate product. I'm not exactly sure how you control this one as it is. Uh, 16 teaching courses, multifunction play, battery, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the thing of it is, is um, uh, it says it's extensible, so you can add a, add to it and stuff. And uh, it's uh, a, a robot that you program yourself, so it's not like got built-in stuff. You actually learn how to program. Now, um, I, I actually have a friend who teaches um, kind of STEM education at one of the local schools, and, and uh, he was teaching um, software, and it's very popular that you start teaching with these flowchart type um, uh, programs where everything is just kind of snap in place. I think it's actually called the snap thing in Berkeley or something. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a, a very good way to teach people uh, maybe not how to code, but how to get in the mindset of coding, how to think about how you make the loops and what transitions and stuff. And um, it gives you the basics before you get burdened with, oh, you forgot the semicolon and that's why it doesn't work, right? Uh, use something like this, something like this first. Um, all right, so let's take a look inside, see what we get. Uh, our crowbot, uh, I guess the crowbot's name is Bolt. <laughs> let's see here, uh, steam education, preparation, uh, I don't think there's any soldering involved. I think this is just a, kind of a hook it up type of thing. Uh, it does come with a little uh, a little remote control thing. Uh, so yeah, all we need to do, I think, is bolt it together, and then uh, comes with a uh, comes with a follow the follow the line type of uh, type of thing. is is very very standard for for beginning type uh, robotic uh, robotic type stuff. Let's just kind of see what's in here. Here's our, here's our remote. Uh, yeah, this is what I want to see. It's got uh, wheels and motors and all that kind of stuff. But I want to see the, uh, see the board and see what they have uh, chosen as their. Oh, I can't get my fingers in the. There we go. Wow. Oh, I see. Oh, nice. Oh, well, I'm a fan of these little motors. I, I like these little geared motors. Um, yeah, so it looks like it has a, a, a ESP32 on it. Um, so nice processor. Uh, it's Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's all put together. Very, very nice construction. Um, it has a little wheel here in the front that I think is just the front wheel. Uh, just a little ball bearing that spins around. And so it's just a two wheels. Uh, it has light sensors, so it'll be going. Here's here's a light emitter detectors. Okay, so there's an emitter and a, an LED and a, and a photodiode, and that th that will be for the the line following there. Uh, it will have some uh, light sensors on top, so I guess you can it can detect maybe where a flashlight is or something. Uh, reset. Um, Programming button for the ESP32 on off. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. What kind of battery did it come with? Uh, oh, wait a minute. That did come with a controller. Oh. I don't know if that's standard or. All right, mine did come with a controller. Has a little joystick, another ESP32, and uh, kind of like a um, Nintendo type of thing, a Game Boy, whatever. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got a looks like it's got a beeper. It's got some two buttons here. 
different controls and stuff. This would be nice if this was extensible. Probably is. So that's very, very cool. Not sure where, oh, here we go. It gets its power with uh, two triple A's. And yeah, what else do we get? This is really exciting. Uh, let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. It comes with another sensor in the front. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll just go ahead and build it, and then uh, we can see what all of the uh, all of the functionality is. This is some ultrasonic uh, ultrasonic detectors here for the front of the crow, and uh, yeah, I still don't see a still don't see a battery. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, a little uh, LCD panel. Uh, looks like that maybe goes on there or on here. Maybe on here. I squared C. Yeah, probably a display for here. One of those little OLED displays. I think those are OLED. Oh, here's the battery for the uh, for the main unit. It's not rechargeable. It's just a, a set of AA batteries. Everything out of its packaging here. Yeah, just uh, four AA's. So you could put in re you could put your own rechargeables in there and recharge them someplace else. Uh, old. Okay, yeah, let me get it together. So I've got things together. Um, the controller came out super nice. I really like the controller. And in general, I like the um, plastic that they've chosen. A lot of times these, these kits come with this really shiny black uh, plastic, which I'm just not a big fan of. It kind of looks cheesy, but this looks super high quality because it's a matte finish. Um, and so, yeah, it just, I mean, it probably doesn't cost them anything more. It just makes it look so much nicer. So yeah, good choice there. Um, so it looks like a normal game controller. Um, the, the, the display does, does go here. Uh, batteries go in the back. I haven't powered anything up yet. Um, I did have an issue. I couldn't figure out how to attach the, uh, um, this to this. It, it, the holes don't match and maybe there's a little thing that I'm just haven't seen yet that screws in there to ma make, make the two go together. But I could, I could fashion something. But anyway, for right now, this is fine. I can just, I can just use it as is. Um, and um, yeah, so uh, this is a little wheels in the back. So it goes kind of forward. It's got the little eyes in the front that are the uh, 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 distance sensors, the ultrasonic distance sensors, distance uh, sensors. It's got a collision avoidance in the front. Uh, it's got some uh, light sensors here. Like I said, it's got the line following on the bottom. Uh, it's got some little configuration switches down here. Not sure what that's all about. Um, it looks like it has some type of extensibility, like I said, um, where you can hook up some cables to certain things you can daisy chains together. Uh, this one has a daisy chain on it yet, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but it looks pretty cool. Um, looks like they've thought things through. Yeah, everything looks everything looks pretty nice. So uh, one word of warning though, before you put it all together, make sure you put the batteries in because the batteries are on the inside. So I need to take a couple screws out and put the batteries in and put it back together again. But uh, yeah, uh, once the batteries are in there, you, you need to take it apart to change them. All right. So I'm not sure, you know, I guess I should go on their website and see what to do, but I think I'm just going to turn it on and see if it does anything at all. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a try, see if it's got the firmware already flashed into it. Okay, I've got batteries and everything, so let's turn things on. Let's turn this one on, and he's got, he's got a blue light. We'll turn this one on. And oh, look, it says uh, joystick for Crobot, and it's looking for a Bluetooth signal, and I don't know if we're supposed to push some button over here for Bluetooth or not. I don't, I, I'm going to have to read the instructions. I probably have to hold down a button and uh, 
to enable the Bluetooth. Uh, to enable the Bluetooth. Let's see if we can't uh, can't do this all by itself. All right. Um, so uh, you can use the uh, robot with just this controller to begin with. It has some built-in programs, uh, one through four, I believe. Uh, no, I think it does some other things too. Anyway, there are some built-in programs, one through four, and then you can control things individually. It's all in the instructions. Um, but what we'll do is we'll, uh, it doesn't come with a battery, so you need to have a uh, CR2025. Anyway, I put one of those in there. And we will turn the crowbot on by the little switch in the back, this little blue LED that comes on. If I hit number four, it plays a song. <laughs> so it has a built-in song, uh, Christmas song. And then uh, number one, program number one, here's the sensor here for the IR. Uh, program number one is collision avoidance. So, it's saying, ah, oh, everything's around me, I'm gonna. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you hit the okay button to turn it off. And then, uh, Number three is line following. So here's a line. And uh, let's see if we can't get it to uh, follow the line. Oh, that, uh, 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 that was number, I need number two. <laughs> number two. And it goes, oh, this is a tight turn, tight turn. I can do it. I can turn it. There it goes. So you can make your own, you can make your own track, make it a little bit bigger, of course. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, it's uh, made really well. Uh, like I said, it's, it's very ex uh, extensible in the fact that you can write programs and stuff for it. I haven't downloaded their, their programming language, but you can download uh, this uh, flowchart type uh, system where you can write programs for it and make it do different things. All right, um, I turned a switch on the bottom that said Bluetooth and I turned it on and it, it paired with the, with the bot. It says manual mode and I can use the, uh, whoa, I can use the joysticks here to, to make it turn. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and I don't know what else goes on. Uh, if I can hit buttons or I'll get in trouble, uh, let's hit the A button. Nothing. Oh, ultrasonic. Whoa. Oh, is it uh, telling me distance? Oh dear. It's just, it's just going nuts. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> ah, stop, stop. I guess I have to read the manual. <laughs> I guess I have to read the manual. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so the controller works great. Uh, I don't know what, what all it does. Uh, it's a complicated little beast, and I think you could spend hours hours playing with this thing. Uh, I think it's a, a great tool, probably for, uh, for teaching uh, STEM students and stuff. Seems like it's built quite well. Um, so yeah, I give it a big thumbs up. Seems like there's a lot of resources for it too. So um, yeah, there you go. This has been the uh, Electro Crobot Bolt.